Ah, salut everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Najed campaign, or as we had to call it, the less plays that no one else does on the internet, and we do it because, you know what, it's cool like that, dude, it's like cool. So anyways, guys, today's nation we chose is Najed, you guys wanted to vote this one up, you guys really want me to play as Najed, so I'm gonna play as Najed. Um, couple things I guess we should know is our ultimate goal is to try to become civilized, but a, a really, really good goal to do, which I'm actually going to accomplish in a couple of years, is, ah, oh, great, no, you dare lag, thank you, okay, is forming Arabia, that is our main overall goal, and since we're in the Jed, we get a special little modifier to our forming of Arabia, which is, all we need to form Arabia is just we need to own Horrendous. And, jazz. and then we form Arabia. It's that simple. Um, but before I go to, before I can go after Horrendous for you know that magical region of becoming Arabia, I'm gonna wait until the Ottomans fear me. Because the Ottomans will be jerks and let us not be able to conquer Horrendous if we are not sphered by them. So I'm going to wait for them to sphere us, and then once they sphere us, I'm going to use that little window of opportunity to conquer this region, and then, yeah, we're going to begin from there. So guys, um, just a quick overall thing, we have no production. Our money situation is not the best, so I'm going to tax our people to the utmost, because that's what you do as a dictator, you tax. Uh, Policy-wise, we are mostly conservative people. We are the conservatives. And... Yeah, we're just conservative. We don't like change. Um, national modifier I'm going to put over here because we need to start increasing our literacy rate. Uh, Trade-wise, we are producing mostly wool and grain. And we are mostly importing fruit and cattle. Kind of be expected. We don't have very much. I mean, most of our RG output is... <laughs> it is mostly wool. Wow. That's... Wow. Um... Diplomacy wise, the only nation that really likes this is the Ottomans and I'm hoping I can start increasing my relationships with them so that they'll spare us faster so that we can go to war with here and then be able to just like take over all these regions. That's my plan. That's my overall plan. Just like to use their their niceness against us to just like kill every single one in this region. So is there anything else? Uh, militaristic wise, I don't think we can build many troops because we're gonna barely be able to support these troops, so yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to begin my first cut here, and just a quick reminder, if you guys, if you want to see what I rate this nation as, remember to skip towards the end, I usually have like a good like overall summary of what I think this campaign is and how likely it is you can actually do on YouTube, so if you want to see that, please go to the end, if you want to see my review, or if you also want to see the overall review, you can also go to the comments, not the comments, the description, I have like a whole rating system there. Like for uh, like for an overall thing, so you can kind of see what I was thinking. And is that it? Du -du -du -du, is that it? Du -du -du -du, is that it? Du -du -du. Yep. So guys, I cut now, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Wow, that was great timing. Um, so basically, guys, while I was waiting for being to be sphered by the Ottoman Empire, which it took them about ten years, I finally got sphered by them. Okay, and listen to this. I got my cousin's bed eye about only four days ago to finish out the spearing, and then I also got a uh, political reform where I can actually do this, which means, guys, I now have research bonus when conquering. So now I get a research bonus when I'm gonna go take over the Ottoman, not the Ottomans, the uh, Nejed Empire. I mean, not Nejed. These guys. When I go take over these guys, I'm gonna get like an extra boost to my civilization rank. From taking them over. Oh, that is so sweet. And let's see, we have a pretty good amount of modifiers right now going. Um, what I should have been doing though is I kind of realize this. Some of you guys should probably realize is you probably should be um, after you're done with your usual clergyman, you should be encouraging soldiers as much as possible. Because right now I don't think I have enough soldiers to fight against these guys, but I'm gonna have to. And right now I'm not gonna call in any of my allies. In a hopes that Yemen will not join Horrendous' side. Shut. Shaista, why are they so cool? Why are they all so cool? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Dang, I can't do anything else. <laughs> um, dang. 
Well, I'm, I'm just gonna have to win this the old natural way, which means I, what I'm gonna have to hope, guys, is that um, is that either Yemen or or um, Ethiopia decide to try to take something from me, and at that point the uh, mighty Ottomans will step in and say, "Nope." So if they all occupy me, that's gonna be fine. But I just have to make sure that they that they'll try to get something from me that's all i have to make sure is that they're gonna try to get something from me because then the ottomans will step in and basically kick their booty okay okay so guys um i'm gonna skip ahead and you guys will get to see what happens uh, in the future because this can kind of get very boring if we just sit here so see you guys then hey guys i just wanted to bring you guys back because i just want to tell you we conquered the rendez but it's kind of a shallow victory right now because we have yemen forces coming at us and i could technically make arabia right now but I'm not going to because every time it seems like I make Arabia, they seem to reform. Like, every time. I seem to lose this entire war and they seem to get so much bigger and so much better that it becomes like, what? So what I'm hoping what will happen, because since they've already died, most of the men have already died. What I'm hoping, what, I'm, what I am hoping will happen is that they will eventually get to the point of where the soldiers are non-existent. And we can start just like taking them over. But right now we have basically no men and there are no supplies heading towards us. And it kind of stinks. Wait, I think I think our men are actually healing. That's good. So we need to kind of heal our men. Cause right now we're about even we're about even ground with our mortal enemies, the Yemen's. And we need to do stuff. So I'm gonna bring you guys back to tell you guys what happens at the war. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I engaged the uh, Yemenese troops in uh, Jeddah, you know, because I wanted to attack them and make them weaker. And for some reason, all the troops just vanished. And I'm taking this as a miracle and saying, wow, <laughs> I think we might win this very, very slowly. I still have to re-siege all this stuff, but I think we'll win. In the end because I was too stubborn to give up on this war Wow that is a great war story right there I was too stubborn to give up on this war and you know what in the end I might actually win this because I was way too stubborn to give up yeah this is this is definitely tactics like somehow my troops was so good that they made the Jidda troops like they, had, they only had three troops so I'm guessing war exhaustion was a little bit of it and by the way I'm taking so much and militancy from this but um, yeah, they had so much, um, stuff that I was like, you know, this is going to be easy, but they just lost, like, I, I, I don't know, I really don't know what happened to them, so, guys, just, I'm going to fast forward to when I actually re-siege all my stuff, and then, this will probably take, like, five years of my life, oi, so I'm going to get to that point, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, and on a side note, I can finally build another unit, so while I still have the infantry, Wait, no, not them. Build a horseman. Okay, there we go. All right, see you guys in a... Okay, people, it took me three years to get this to this point, and I finally got it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I came back from a complete loss and almost complete destruction, and here I am, back, doing a white piece with my attackers. And look, now we can finally do it, everyone! It is time to form India in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Boom! We are now India. Well, not India. Um, whoops. Wrong playthrough. We are now the mighty, powerful nation of Arabia! 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 And dang, now I can finally just go back to just relaxing and just... Oh my goodness, that was a tough war. And actually, we got a couple wars lined up for us because I'm not quitting here. My next war I think I'm going to go to is against Amina Dubai to establish protectorate because now look at this, guys. <laughs> oh, we have so many cores right now. Um, speaking of cores, the next time the Ottomans go to war, I am definitely going to try to get into there. So let's see. Oh, wait, they already have... Oops. They already have all the cores. Dang it. I was hoping maybe I could, like... Yeah, because, look, we can do a, we can do just acquire as many cores as we want. This is so awesome. But first, we're going to try to focus on this area, and we're going to try to bench out. But, yeah! <laughs> we now have it! Wow. 
Oh my goodness, that, that was a tough, that was a toughie. So, guys, I'm going to skip ahead to when I actually have everything lined up, and we'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, I'm now ready to go to war. I just got a, uh, what was it? I just got another political reform, which was import weapons. And now that we have that, I'm going to declare war on Aminu Dubai. And right now, they do have a stronger, 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 um... Troops and wow, my literacy stinks. Um, but they do have a stronger alliances than me, for now. But if I can quickly destroy them and then use that use a causes belly to go take over Oman, it, it won't even matter. So let's start the war off. And they are completely un they are completely unallied with no one. So this is gonna be perfect. Oh my goodness, this is this feels so great. I don't have to deal with. Yemen! Yeah, oh no no no! This time Yemen, yeah, I'm definitely gonna add a core to destroy you. Yeah, I'm. That's what I, I guess. That's what I'll do is I'll add a core because they're the only. Ooh. Hmm. We have a good commander. Defender, I mean. Because I mean, I could build up my troops again pretty quickly. I'm just wondering if we have a good commander. Well, let's go over here. Let's destroy these Aminu Dubai troops. Now that we've destroyed them. I don't think Yemen's built up any troops anymore, because I think we destroyed their economy. And I'm going to wait for the Omans to just take nutrition in my land. I mean, we don't have to engage them outright. I mean, what would be the point of engaging them just, like, outright? I mean, and there wouldn't, the point I'm trying to make here, people, is that there wouldn't be any point. So, guys, um, I'm going to fast forward through this war, and we'll see what happens. So, hopefully I win? Question mark? <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I just wanted to bring you back into the war. Um, I'm basically winning now. All of Oman's troops have been destroyed, so and Yemen didn't really have any troops, so I instantly conquered Aminu Dubai, and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this war go for as long as possible because I'm gonna basically in this war take Yemen and Oman at the exact same time, so that I can own the entire lower part of the peninsula and have a little bit of African colonies, which sounds pretty awesome in my mind. Don't you guys agree? So, yeah, and political policies-wise, it's still about the same. Um, still haven't gotten much technology. Population, our population has slowly increased over time because of our conquest. And I forgot to show you guys, but the reason why you want to form Arabia is because it gives you so many accepted cultures. Like now, basically, with the accepted cultures, Merber, Harlinian, Bedouin, 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 I can basically, all these people are my peeps. That means I can basically use them, all of them, in their own factory line. So this is so cool that I can do that. And yeah, I will bring you guys back when I conquer either Yemen or Oman. Okay guys, I'm going to have to take a short break here. Um, this is basically our progress so far. We basically almost conquered all Yemen, and I've already added both war goals of conquering both Oman and Yemen. And it was kind of funny. Yemen actually, tr I mean, Oman, the war leader, tried to get out of this war by selling out Yemen. Um, getting, uh, basically saying they will sell, they will get out of the war and accept the annexation of Yemen. So, all of you, all I've learned today is that Oman is a backstabbing nation. So, <laughs> yeah, but right now, we're just slowly, but surely, conquering the rest of our rightful land. And then, after that, I think we're just gonna sit around and civilize. So, yeah, if you look forward to that, I'll probably bring you guys back when I conquer all this. But anyways, just wanna give you guys a quick update. Cause it's been about five years, and you guys need to know! Okay, see you guys when I'm done with my break. Okay guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for! Yeah! And now look at that sexy Arabia right there. Doesn't that look just very, very nice? I mean, that looks like what you would think of as Arabia. It looks, you know, very natural, and we even have some colonies over here. I mean, this is all good. Um... Yeah, from here, I think I'm going to do my review. And a lot of you thinking, but James, you haven't conquered everything. You haven't done this, and you haven't done that. Uh, from, uh, I've done, I've gone forward in this campaign, like, off screen. I've done a couple, like, simulations of the future. And from here, the campaign just gets very, very stressful. So, from, he from this point, so from this point, I'm just going to review from what I know. Alright. 
usual question, so the big question is all to that everyone always asks. So review time everyone just so you guys know. The big question that everyone always asks is Is this is this gonna be a good let's play for YouTube? And to answer that, this is a couple subcategories of that, which is, you know, can you become a great power? Can you civilize? Um, is it fun? And how rage-inducing is it? Okay. Let me get off the first one off the bat. Can you civilize? Yes. It is entirely possible with this campaign to civilize. I mean, it is so entirely possible. That it was kind of mind-boggling, because I was like thinking, you know, for a little nation over here in Saudi Arabia, it would be, you know, ten times harder than in Santo Caliphate civilized. But no, I would finish, I would bet that maybe if I didn't do such an aggressive strategy with all my wartime goals and stuff. Uh, speaking of which, we probably should increase our tax efficiency. Let's do it. Why not? Why not let it fly, everyone? Because we actually do need more taxes. But apparently that doesn't really help us much because we're already like taxing our people to the utmost. So yeah, that's the reason why I never do that reform, just so you know, is because it usually actually kills my economy in the end instead of helps it. But anyways, um, yeah. Can you civilize? You get civilized. If I was... I think in this case, if I had a better grasp of this country right here, of Arabia, and had a better grasp of what they were going for, because what, the, what they were going for is that they didn't really want you to like go out in all out wars. You know, what you were supposed to do is you're supposed to do little tiny wars. You know, like claim this and then wait a couple years and go here and go claim this and then wait a couple years and then go claim this, go claim this. And then, then you know, go after Egypt while before the Ottomans take all this land. You know, like, because I think the part of the reason why I'm having trouble with this let's play is because we kind of got boxed in and then, of course, Egypt made alliance with Persia, so. Yeah, one thing one thing I definitely learned in this let's play is to make sure you get your alliances. Make sure you make careful notes of your alliances. Like this is just a reflective moment here, but yes, make sure you get careful, careful alliances. Like I decided to ally ally myself with Yemen in the beginning, didn't quite work. They instantly backstabbed me and decided with Hernandez, which caused this like 40 years war with me and them, which I eventually won. May I add? Ha 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 ha. Revenge is always sweet, don't, isn't it Yemen, huh, huh, where are you guys? Oh, I don't see you anymore on the map, because you're part of my empire. What? But, yeah, smart thing to do is just get better alliances, and I think if I would have done that, like, if I'd got, if I'd known, because I didn't realize this until, like, a future war, which you guys will see, where I actually tried to invade, uh, Egypt, I did not know that the Persians could actually attack right here, they can actually enter land right here. If I'd known that, I would have used that advantage to, to my, I would have used that so hardcore and just like abused it so heavily. Cause I could have used, I could have used the Persians army to help me conquer Aminu Dubai. I could have used them to conquer Oman, and then I could have used them to conquer like Egypt. Alliances people I think in this case I, I usually don't go on about alliances in the game But in this one this one is especially especially important that you get the alliances right and especially if you're going for great powerness Because I honestly think in this game it is entirely like it is so probable to become a great powerness Let's play after you become Arabia um, If you stay as in the Jed you can't really I don't think you'll become a great power, but if you um since it's so possible to civilize when you become Arabia and once you conquer a couple of a lot of land, it is so entirely possible you can get the mighty nation of you know the mighty nation of Arabia to great powerness. I mean, it's so it is so likely. It is I would bet you anything. It's as likely as Japan becoming a great power, or you know China becoming a great power. I mean, it is so likely. It is so easy and so natural and just, it, it just feels so easy. Like, if I had not gotten cornered in right now where I am, where, like, the Ottomans had just basically blocked all routes to Egypt, and if I had a bigger army, and if I had done better with... See, I, I still understand, I, don't, I think I have to look up army conscription a little bit better, because I really don't understand this. Why am I not building anything? Why is it not letting me build anything? No armies, no, no, nothing. As if it's because of these generals, I will delete all these guys, but, like, so, yeah. 
Civilization rank. Can you become a great power? Yes. If I had time, I would look more into it. But like I said, these are just tiny Let's Plays to show you guys the potentiality of this. Um, is it rage inducing? Eh, kinda. I would give it like a 4 out of 10. Because at some point, it's really quite stressful because... In the beginning, guys, this is just a fair warning. In the beginning, you guys, are, as the Jed, you guys are going to instantly want to say, Hey, let's conquer Hedge, wh whatever this nation used to be. Uh, there it is. Um, Horrendez. He Hedges. I think it's about Hedges or something like that. I, I have hard trouble trying to pronounce European names. I'm not going to have, I'm going to have a terrible time pronouncing Middle Eastern names. But you guys are instantly want to go wanting to conquer this. And you're going to soon realize that that isn't really a liability. Because instantly, if you try to do that, the Ottomans will draw, will come in on the uh, Horrendez' side and basically kick your butt. So, you basically have to wait around 10 years before the Ottomans will spear you. And then you can go to war and do all that kind of stuff and be happy Danny Andy. But until then, it's just basically... Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those mistakes I made. And that, that was one of those things that rage that's really rage-inducing. Another rage inducing moment is the fact that for some reason my army keeps dying. I'm getting so mad at that because I'm like, why will this not make any more army? I had like 16 to 20 troops in the beginning of this let's in the beginning of this. Now I only have like two. And I know army dies o over time, but I have like 400k people in my population right now of male people. And yet you guys can't figure out how to do army? I mean, let's see. Granted, most of this workforce is made up of farmers, but still, there's still at least 9,000 soldiers in Arabia. I should still be able to at least make one more band of army men, and then I could probably quit. Then I could probably be happy with what we have, but until then, wow. Okay. So, rage-inducing in terms of that, and also, oh, Egypt. Conquering Egypt. This is just like a painkiller. So right now, I would love to be taking over Egypt and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. But I can't fight Persia. Persia is just way too powerful an ally. And what I could try to do is like get an alliance with a rape with Afghanistan. But Afghanistan takes way too dang long. Like they they instantly have negative bonuses against us. It would take it would take about five years for me to get to get this to get this underneath our control. And then I'm not even sure if they would want to join in. And then you know there's also I should also talk about great powers coming in and trying to mess you up. Um. Mainly, I didn't really have to deal with that. Since I was in a jet and I was kind of isolated from all the other great powers, not not many great powers really messed with me. So this is it's a very safe let's play. As long as you're allied with the Ottomans, it's a very safe let's play for you as an uncivilized power to just, you know, go crazy in this region. Um, and final question, is it fun? Yes. This campaign was surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly very fun. I had so much fun building up Najed, so much fun just like getting everything up. I mean, I did talk about some of the negatives, but some of the positives of this was the fact I could just go on conquest. I mean, all these causes bellies I have, and all these causes bellies I haven't even used yet. You know, this is like my dream. You know, I have no infamy for any of this. I could just go to war after war after war after war, and you know, just, I wouldn't even have to really feel it, so. Uh, yeah, is this fun? Yeah. I'm giving this one of my first, I'm giving this like an 8 out of 10 in terms of fun, and it was so good. So, you know, yeah. I think that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. This was a fun Let's Play, and, you know, in all honesty, I might actually have to do this for a real legit Let's Play, because this was just so much fun. It had so much fun and so much p potential, because, I mean, it, you wouldn't be just sitting around here doing nothing. You would honestly have something to do, like, you'd have to conquer Rendez, you'd have to civilize, you'd have to become a great power. There'd always be something to do. So, this would actually be, honestly, a fun let's play, so, I don't know. Anyways, guys. Oh, wait, that wasn't a good clap. There we go. Anyways, guys, um, it's, on the, it's time for the end of the episode, so don't forget to vote for your next favorite Let's Play or nations that you've never seen on YouTube or nations that no one else will play. And I will play them to the heart and figure out why no one else wants to play them and figure out if you guys want to play them. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.